it was a lot of question. It was a lot of concern. Um, there was, you know, speech delay. There was no eye contact. There was no, she didn't want to be touched. She didn't want to um, have any type of affection in general. So uh, we were just, you know, really concerned about those things. It was a scary thing, you know, waiting to get those results back. When we first re received the diagnosis, it was a relief because we knew what it was and we knew that it wasn't fatal because we weren't so, we weren't educated about that. We didn't know exactly what autism was, even though we had known someone with autism, we just, we still weren't sure ourselves. Um, so it was a little bit of a relief and it was a little bit of a devastation. Where do we go? What do we do? What's the next step? What does this mean? Short term, long term. So all those questions definitely came into play and really, you know, took over, so. Family Initiative has actually helped progress Olivia's behavior. Um, and in autism, you see a lot of progression and degression. And in the last year and a half that they've actually, it's been an intense therapy here, we've seen major, major progression. Um, the cooperation of her not running off as much has been amazing. Her focus has been amazing. Um, they're seeing positive effects at school as well, just from these two to three hour sessions daily. The stereotypes that I would like to set right is that they have personalities and they are people and they may not know how to communicate with you and they may not know, you know how to initiate things with you, but they do want it, they, they are there. They have amazing personalities. My child's taught me more about love than anybody on this earth could ever teach me about love. Unconditional love, because a lot of people don't understand there is a huge difference.